Hey guys, what's up? Green Tea here. And today I got a video on a video game that I really love. And it's no secret that I like the whole franchise, but today I have a video on Cyberpunk 2077. And basically I'm just gonna, you know, say some facts on it. And if you like the facts or if you enjoyed the video, remember guys, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. And with that out the way, let's get started with our number 10. Night City is easily one of the most realistic and vibrant environments ever made for a video game, and is undoubtedly one of the biggest achievements of the title. It was clear from the beginning that CD Projekt Red put a ton of effort to ensure that this locale was as realistic as possible. In fact, they even went so far as hiring real city planners to ensure that no corners were cut when it comes to development in one of the most lived-in cities ever made for a video game. And at number 9. The name Night City itself has a ton of backstory behind it as well. For starters, the name is inspired by the works of William Gibson, whose 1984 novel Neuromancer ended up coining the term cyberpunk and cyberspace in the first place. Night City is the name that appears in numerous novels of his, and is clearly a major inspiration for CD Projekt Red naming their city the same name as well. Also, another really cool fact about Night City, well, like the name. Night City is also like the name of a computer like BBS, which is like a bulletin board system that operated in Queensland, Australia from the late 80s to early 90s before like the availability of internet basically made it obsolete. But another really cool fact about Night City. And at number eight, so like every other work of fiction, Cyberpunk 2077 has inspirations and the world of Night City is definitely heavily inspired by the architecture of Blade Runner with various facts of the world inspired by Akira as well, the anime that I actually done a top 10 on. So if you like Akira, the animated movie, I did a top 10, go check it out. And also, Night City was also inspired by Ghost in the Shell as well. In fact, one can actually find the Yaba Kusunagi CT3X in the game, which is a direct reference to the famous bike in Akira. And at number seven, so the world of cyberpunk, it's one full of strife, so it's only a given that such conflicts than the ones that the player character is involved in still kind of happens. Well, three years after the event of Cyberpunk 2077 in the year 2080, an AI analytics software which predicts with 74% surety that the new United States, which is like a nation that you're currently in, and the free states will inevitably lock horns with each other in the near future. So who knows, maybe there's going to be DLC where we're going to be partaking in a war with the other nation. And honestly, that kind of sounds pretty cool. I can't wait for that. So CD Projekt Red, if you're watching this video, you're probably not. But if you are, that's a pretty cool idea. And at number six. So one of the oddest things about the history of Night City is that almost 30% of its population was eradicated in 2076 without any reason given to why it ever happened. This is certainly rather odd after all. The mere fact that no one bats an eye over such a major event in a populated city is surely somewhat suspicious, given the fact that this is 30% accounts for nearly like 3 million people. There must be like some sort of information that is being hidden from the public. And at number 5, so 3D printers are already pretty exciting news as is, but in the world of Cyberpunk 2077, there's actually a 3D printer that will soon roll out that can scan people's minds and recreate any object they're thinking of. And at number 4, in the year 2067, they actually created the first ever human settlement in Antarctica. Which is pretty cool because for the longest time, Antarctica has been considered to be the location where the existence of human life is pretty much impossible. And at number 3, so sharks are actually extinct in the world of Cyberpunk 2077. They actually went extinct in 2067 and the whole ecosystem honestly in the world of cyberpunk 2077 is actually really messed up and that might be because you know they kind of let corporations kind of expand without any boundaries but you know the technology is cool and then number two so even though the technology is cool i guess the bird flu was still like a really major issue in night city uh there was three bird flu epidemics that happened and the latest one actually happened in 2016 and they wiped out around 12,000 people. So, yeah, uh, we have COVID. They got the bird flu. And finally, at number one, Johnny Silverhand is arguably the most popular character in Cyberpunk 2077. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that he's portrayed by Keanu Reeves. 
But the original idea for Johnny Silverhand was inspired by none other than David Bowie from the 1986 fantasy film Labyrinth. And that was my top 10 facts on the video game Cyberpunk 2077. If you guys enjoy the facts, remember guys, like, share, subscribe. I do have a review on the anime Cyberpunk, well the Cyberpunk anime that came out on Netflix. So if you like that, go check that one out as well. Um, you know, please follow me for more facts on anime, video games, and basically whatever else I find interesting. But just to say again, if you guys do like what I got going on here, please remember guys, like, share, subscribe, green tea out.